this is the beauty of democracy where uh, we get ideas. Chair, I want to thank you for this opportunity on the, this my bill of the Kenya Constitution Amendment Bill number 2 of 2024, Senate Bills number 42 of 2024. Uh, Chair, I will just make a few remarks uh, and I want to thank all Kenyans from all works, uh, lives and uh, individuals who are presented. I want to assure Kenyans who are here and who are following wherever they are that I am listening to what they are saying. Chair, two things, I will just make five comments. One is that I agree with Kenyans that it has reached a time that we need to do constitutional audit. Number two is I want to ask what is it that concerns the National Assembly that does not concern Senate? It is very important that we have a discussion. Number three, constitution is a progressive document and should be dynamic. Constitution is not cast on stone and should from time to time must be reviewed, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, what number three is that we are trying to strengthen the work of parliament, both the National Assembly and the Senate. Chair, I'm happy that most of the members of public who have appeared here I agree with almost 80% of the proposals that are made and a few that are still contentious, Mr. Chairman. If you look at the issue of uh, the many concerns of Kenyan's chairman has been on the issue of accountability uh, of resources that go to machinani. Chair, I am an optimist. I believe if we allocate 40% or more to counties, we shall be able to see more development. It is, it is the work of the Senate to do oversight, but I want to assure the public, because I have seen concern of accountability, that it is up to the EACC and DCI to follow up on economic crimes. We have enough legislations to fight economic crimes, corruption, and white collar crimes in this republic, so we need to call EACC and other accountability organs to order. Because, Chair, and it will be judges, the people should know that the, the work of the Senate is to oversight and Parliament is to recommend. We don't prosecute or arrest. So if there is a corruption case at Machinani, Senate or Parliament cannot arrest. It's the work of DPP, DCI, and EACC. And I want to ask Kenyans, the more we allocate more resources to Machinani. For us, Chair, I have served almost, uh, my, this is my second term in the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. And one of the challenges is resource allocation must go to where people are. And Article 219 of the Constitution says when money has been received, released to counties, it should, not, it should go without due delay. So it is the National Exchequer that has the problem, Chair, and on accountability issues, I, I agree there are corruption cases, challenges within the machinery. Chair, on the issue of, uh, uh, the issue of term limit, I have listened, other people are proposing two years, Others are, are proposing uh, five years to continue, others four years, Chair. In fact, many Kenyans don't know that this, some of these proposals on term limits are in NATCO report. And I ask Kenyans to read it. And on the issue of term limit, I agree in the entirety of the principle, and I wait for the committee report so that we can uh, ensure. My only concern, and I want to agree with Bungela Wanaichi, I think, I think from Jivanchi, that uh, this country chair, we are always on campaigning mood. Even as we talk electioneering period, campaigning mood, we don't have sufficient time to deliver for the people. But I agree that time cannot be the answer to measure in the performance. So I'm waiting for your committee to give a report. Chair, I am aware there are over 200,000 that have crashed the Senate, uh, and I'm told it's up and running. Chair, I've not so been it's having this. It's actually 240,000. 240,000 emails, and I'm happy the email of Senate is up and running. Chair, my phone has crashed because I have received over 10,000 SMSs, uh, 100 plus uh, WhatsApp messages, Mr. Speaker, and most of them even does not concern time limit, but other issues, Chair, uh, like for confidence and others. But that is not the point. What I want to ask Kenyans, I have received feedback both individually and at that capacity, and I want to ensure on time limit I will look at it and there is a procedure of looking at that close chair. So I want to assure the public that they should not. And confirm chair, I want to dispel a misnomer. This is a private member's bill. It is Senator Gerard Gay bill. It, it is not sponsored by anybody. 
It is not sponsored by the party. It is not sponsored by your committee. I am the sponsor and I'm here listening. So anybody who is reporting elsewhere that this bill is sponsored from other quarters, Chair, in conclusion, I have sponsored so many things. No one has objected my bills. Chair, you remember the county attorney bill? I sponsored myself. You remember the issue of petition of clinical officers, the universal health coverage chair, the prevention of livestock and produce theft bill, the county government's amendment bill, the cancer prevention. Chair, I want to assure the public, the people who have spoken here, Chair, in conclusion, have made it believe that this is the only time that we are doing our job. There are many bills that myself are sponsored, Chair, including petitions, including uh, even the remuneration of village elders on Mukasa or Nyumbakumi. I want to invite the public chair to visit the Senate or the public website so that they know what we are doing, chair. Chair, in conclusion, because I can see I still have two minutes, I agree, we need to Actually, ensure... Actually, you, you, you're adding yourself the two minutes. You've okay. exhausted the five minutes. I'm trying, chair, to respond so that our people notice that we... No, no, we also no, no. Okay. listen. I was supposed to listen today, we've listened. We're actually not responding, so you don't respond. Okay, just, uh, just let me you. just make an observation. I'm yes. not responding. Let me observe. Chair, on the issue of uh, KDM approval by both houses of parliament, I'm happy my people have given their voice on that. Chair, on the issue of uh, development projects to be gazetted, I agree with that. On the issue of uh, that we need to focus more on other critical issues, Chair, I want to, to say that I agree largely. Mimi tu nataka ni wakikishia wanaichi ile maoni yote wametoa kuhusiana na huu bill. Tutaiangalia, tutasaidiana kupika msasa na wasikuwa na wasiwasi. Tutaangalia kwa makini. Chair with those very many remarks, I will always be available for any further clarification uh, in any way or in any any format. Chair, and I want to encourage the public kindly use the parliament email and parliament official. Please so that my phone does not collapse. Thank you I very much, Mr. Dredd, for getting time uh, to work. The age group that turned out is an age group that says to me that Kenya's future is secure because the young people have come out. They are not waiting to lead us tomorrow. They are leading us today. They are engaging on policy and uh, lawmaking. And I'm most grateful for that. And so we have had you. We shall look at what has been proposed. We shall hold not against the Constitution in our declarations. And I think we'll have come up with a product that speaks the language of uh, the ordinary Kenyan of the street. So thank you very much for your time, for your sacrifices. And if there was anything that went against for any son, but it's not our it could not be intentional. Otherwise, thank you very much and may God continue to listen us. Thank you, sir. And I want to thank all Kenyans who have turned up for this very useful engagement. I want to assure you that uh, JLAC Senate and the Senate at large is committed and dedicated to upholding rule of law and constitutionalism. And we will do the very best that we can. I just want to also inform you that JLAC Senate is the best performing committee of Senate and is able to look at all the bills that are coming to the floor of Senate with an open mind and ensuring that the wishes of the people are, are uh, upheld within the legislative mandate of Senate. And finally, I want to truly thank all the women who have contributed to uh, the discussion and the debate today. I am very proud of you, we are very proud of you. This time around, we can say that the voices of women have been heard, and I must commend you because the ideas you have given here have actually been also commended by my male colleagues seated on this side. They say the women seem to be taking their space and maybe also occupying other space. Continue taking the space, keep winning, keep contributing, be on the table, don't be on the menu, dear sisters. Thank you.